Right, I'm seeing all your hellos. Hello, everybody. Right, I'm going to assume that you've hidden everything and that you're ready to start. So, using our words that we say each time together. Are you ready? We are here to worship God. This is a time to come together. Love surround us while we're here. Let us worship God. Right, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sing a song and then we'll have a little conversation about what we're doing today. But we're going to sing Our God is a Great Big God. I'm going to have the audio playing again as I do, but hopefully you've got the words. Are you ready? Let's play. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. He is higher than the skyscraper and he's deeper than a sun. He's wider than the universe beyond my wildest dreams And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God you can make yourself. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. Well done. Now, have you ever lost anything? I'm sure the answer must be yes. I have. I've lost really important things to me. I've even lost Reese and Rowan before my children and I've had to go looking for them and I didn't stop looking until I found them. And then I've lost other things like my phone or my keys or even just the book I was reading that are not as important as Reese and Rowan because obviously they're very important to me but I still didn't want to stop looking until I found them. This is what we're going to hear in the Bible about someone who lost something very important to them. That's found in the book of Luke, which is in the second part of the Bible. And this story tells us about a shepherd and how he had lost his sheep. This is Jesus telling others a story. And it goes like this. There were many people who were complaining they were not happy with the things Jesus was saying and instead they said ha oh, look this man welcomes sinners and even eats with them oh, terrible but Jesus told them this story suppose one of you has a hundred sheep but loses one of them then he will leave the other would then he will leave the other 99 sheep in the open field and go out and look for the lost sheep until he finds it when he finds it, he happily puts it on his shoulders and goes home. He calls to his friends and he calls to his neighbours and he says, be happy with me because I lost my sheep. In the same way, but now I have found him. In the same way, I tell you, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who changes his heart and life than over 99 good people who don't need to change. Now, before we think more about what that means, this is the moment to go looking for the sheep. Now, before you do it, wait, wait. I'm going to put a minute timer on. So hopefully you're here, count down and see how many of those sheep you can find in that minute. Are you ready? I'm gonna go looking too. Go. One minute counting down. 
I found two, three, four, I found four. Oh, I've got 40 seconds left. Where are they all? I found another, that's five, six, seven. Oh, I've got 30 seconds left, 30 seconds. Keep looking, don't give up, don't give up. Stay, I've got enough. one more. Oh dear. Oh, I found nine, I've got one left to get. And I've only got 20 seconds, but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna do this. Found it! Phew! Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Ding, ling, 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 ling. Time has done. Did you find them all? Was it easy? Was it hard? Maybe like me, you found some of them were really easy to find straight away you could spot them. But some of them were a little bit harder and you had to work really hard to find those sheep. I wonder, maybe you could tell me in the comments. But right now, we're going to hear a bit more about that story. The story in the Bible that we just heard is a story you've probably heard before, but maybe told in a slightly different way. So let's go over to our puppets and they can help tell us it in a different way. You may need to be patient. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Ah! All my sheep are safe and sound. I do love my sheep. They're so important to me. Right, sheep, it's time for sleep now. Into the barn you go. That's it, in you all go. Uh, and lovely. Well done. Oh, oh, time for a sleep now. Oh, morning, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining and I had a delicious breakfast of eggs, bread, milk and honey. Mmm. Gosh, is that the time I'm late for getting my sheep up and into the barn? Off we go then, Bramble. Off you go, Belinda. Off you go, Carmel. Off you go, Bleat. There we go. Off you go, sheep. Lovely. <sighs> I do love being a shepherd. But it's very hard work. Oh, I think I need another nap. What a great nap. Now it's time to get my lovely sheep back into the barn. Let's count them as we go though. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one. Oh dear, I think one's missing. That, that can't be right. Uh, I must have counted wrong. I shall count again. 98, 99. No, definitely one missing. Who is it? It's Bramble. I must search for her. I know I have 99 other sheep, but all of them are so important to me. Okay, let's put them in the barn first. In they go. Oh. Right, that's all 99 sheep safely in the barn. Let's go and find that missing sheep. Bramble! Bramble, where are you? I wonder if she's under that bush. No. What about hiding under those rocks? No. Oh, where can she be? Can you see her children? Shout out, where is she? She's over here. No, I can't see her. Oh, over there, you say? No, I can't see her. Oh, hang on. I can hear her. Meh, meh. Oh, there she is. Bramble, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, well, I 
am so happy to have found you. I was so worried. Come on, let's go home. Into the barn with the others. Now all 100 sheep are safely home with me. I am so happy. I'm going to have a party tonight to celebrate. My sheep was lost, but now she is found. Yay! Wow! That shepherd was very good, wasn't he? He did not give up looking for that sheep. No matter what, he carried on looking until he found Bramble. And that's what we're going to be thinking about today. That God never, ever leaves us. And if we sometimes come too far away from him, he's always there looking for us because he wants us to be with him. So we're going to do our craft now. Do you remember those 10 sheep that you went searching for? Well, one of them we're going to use in our craft. So I'm just going to move my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Make sure you found somewhere that you can sit and you can see what I'm doing. Right, lovely. I think you can see me here. Right, so we need a sheep, a cup, or a toilet roll. And I've already cut the bottom of this. A stick or something like it, or a straw or something. Some scissors perhaps to cut the sheep out. And some glue tips to colour in. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to colour in your sheep and you can decorate your cup and I would like you to write on your cup, maybe the grown-ups might have to help with this, to write lost on one side and found on the other. So while we colour in our sheep and decorate our cup, I'll talk to you a bit more. Maybe I'll give you some questions that you could ask and talk about with people that you're with at home. Maybe you could tell your grown-up what was your favourite part of the story. And perhaps you could also share which bit of the story did you not like so much. Right, let's choose another colour. Can you remember what the shepherd did in the story when the sheep went missing? What did the shepherd do? The shepherd didn't give up, did he? I was thinking today about how we can feel lost from God and I think that can mean when we get busy and distracted with other things and we sort of almost forget about God for a little bit. We almost forget about the things he might want us to do. We might forget to talk to him. We might forget to read his Bible. Or we might forget to be kind and helpful and loving like he's asked us to be. And that can be us being just a little bit lost, really, because we're not as close to God as we could be if we try to remember to do those things. I've made my a rainbow sheep and I am going to cut my one out, actually. But you don't need to. If you don't have these already cut out, you could just draw a sheep or your child could draw a sheep, perhaps. That would be a good thing. So let's go all the way around my sheep. There. Now, there's my sheep cut out. Now I'm going to decorate my cup. Can you remember I said to write found and lost on the opposite sides of your um, cup. So my words will come out backwards when I'm going to write. Lost on this side. Lost. Why do you think, why do you think that God does not stop looking for us. There are millions and trillions and billions of people in this world. And yet we're told in that Bible story that even if one of those people seems too far away from God, God won't stop looking for him or her. 
but he's got trillions and billions of other people so why look for us i wonder what you think the answer might be there go. i've done the word lost i think it's because god made every one of us and if god made every one of us then we're all important to him do you remember i told you that i've lost both my children before reese and rowan when I lost one of them, I didn't think, oh, it's fine, I've got another child, I'll just stick with them. They were just as important to me. And that's why, because God made us, we are just as important to him, each and every one of us. And he wants us to be close to him and to be his friend and to stay nearby. Right, I know it's back to front, but I've written found there. So I'm just going to colour that in. And then you could decorate the rest of your cup if you wanted to I'm just going to colour in this word and then I'll show you how to finish it off so we have time to do everything this afternoon I do love a bit of colouring do you know I was also noticing that it's that 100 year old veteran's birthday today and he's a hundred and I was thinking about how he was one person one person who had just one small idea and how easy it is for us to sometimes say that well we're only one person what difference will we make but actually you see the difference he made he's raised millions of pounds for charity and lots of people are very, very respectful and proud of him and want to follow his example. One person with one small idea and it grew because that's what God can do. Right, so I've written lost and found. I've got my stick and now I'm going to push the stick through the hole I've made. Like this and then glue your sheet on. You don't really want to do it beforehand because then it will be difficult to get it through the hole unless you put it the other way around of course you can always of course push it in but anyway i've done it that way and there it is my little sheep might have been lost in fact actually you could do two couldn't you because then you could stick one on the other side so let me cut the other one out and then i'm going to stick him I think sometimes we can feel lost from God as well because some of the things that we feel we're worrying about or that seem scary just seem too big. They seem so massive. We just think, how can that ever be sorted out? But nothing's too big for God. I look lost, but I was found. I'm lost, but I was found. So you can pop your little sheep up. I'll leave you to decorate yours because um, I'm going to go on to the next thing. But you could carry on doing that if you like after we've sung our next song, which is Nothing's Too Big. Just like I was saying with God, nothing's too big, nothing's impossible. One small person with one small idea. God can make amazing things happen. Right, let's make you big again. There we go. Fabulous. Now, our next song is Nothing's Too Big. Hopefully you would have already had the words, but if not, you can just join in and dance around your room, wherever you are. Are you ready? Nothing's too big, big, big. Hey! Ho! Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too little, little for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too eagerly, eagerly for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too wincy, wincy for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too teeny, weeny for his care. He is God of the big, God of the little, God of the stuff, somewhere in the middle, the king of moving mountains, loves you more than you will ever know, whoa, big, big, big for his power, nothing 
too little, little for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too idly, idly for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too teeny, weeny for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too weeny, weeny for his care. He is God of the big, God of the little, God of the stuff, somewhere in the middle. The King of moving mountains loves you more than you will ever know. Big, nothing's too small. Nothing's too much he cares for us all. Nothing's too big, nothing's too small. Nothing's too much he cares for us all. Big, nothing's too small. Nothing's too much he cares for us all. Nothing's too big, big. God of the little, God of the stuff, somewhere in the middle, the king of the Loves you more than you will ever know. Whoa. Hey, ho. Hey, ho. Well done, everybody. Well done. So we're almost at the end of our time together, but we do have enough time to pray. Do you remember that was one of the things we talked about, make, about being close to God, not getting too far away and being too lost, was to talk to him. And you can talk to him about anything, anything and everything. But in our prayers today, we're going to have some words where we have to look sad at the end. You make a really sad face. And some where you can then... Make a celebration noise, and if you don't have anything to make a celebration noise with, you can use your hand and go da, da, da. Okay, are you ready? And then at the very end, we're going to say some words together, but I'll remind you of those as we get there. Are you ready? Dear God, sometimes it feels dark and we feel lost. But then you are the light and we are found. Sometimes it feels lonely and we feel lost. But God, you are always there and never leave us. We are found. Sometimes it seems like there is no hope and we feel lost. But God, the Easter story is a story of hope and we are found. Okay, we're going to say together, we were lost but now am found. Ready? We were lost, but now I'm found. We do that again. We were lost, but now we're found. Ready to do our men? We're going to do it from the floor. Ready? Amen. Which of course just means I agree. Right, let's have our words together. The world is big words. And do remember that you can post your pictures and things that you've been doing on Facebook. We'd love to see what you've been up to. Um, and if you have heard of any new songs that you'd like us to sing or that you want to share on the page, do that because then we can all join in with it. Right, you ready? The world is big, I know it's true, but God, it's not too big for you. In your big hands, we all can rest. You keep us safe and know what's best. Amen. Right, and are you ready to do the Lord's Prayer together? Ready? Just as we have been every week. Ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
excellent.